Some people take small laptops like this to BMT with them. Would I recommend taking a laptop to BMT? What things do you need at tech school? What should you pack and what are you allowed to have? I'm gonna be discussing all of those things right after I mention our amazing sponsor, Sandbox. If you are getting ready to go to BMT, you need to know about Sandbox. Your friends and family need to know about Sandbox because they simplify the process of sending and receiving mail while you're at BMT. First of all, for your friends and family, they can send a letter from anywhere with Sandbox's mobile app. And then when you receive your letter, you literally have everything inside your letter to easily send a letter right back to them. You have a pre-addressed envelope, a piece of paper to write back on, and then you also receive the message from your friends and family and and they can even send a colored photo. One of my favorite things about Sandbox was just being able to stay up to date with things that are happening back home because we're at BMT for two months and we feel like there's so much that we can miss out on. But with Sandbox's mobile app, everybody always has their phones on them. And then when something is happening, someone can just write up a message real quick, snap a photo in the moment, and that letter gets shipped out to you. So while I was at BMT, I was able to find out the gender of the baby that my brother and sister-in-law were having. I got letters as quick as two days after they were written so that made things so awesome and it was always exciting to receive letters as well but they don't just stop at BMT people receive sandbox letters tech school and they also have so many other resources for your friends and family so be sure to check them out at sandbox.us so let's start out with things that you need to pack I'm gonna be completely honest here not much you are gonna be coming directly from BMT and you want to pack as light as possible for BMT and then after BMT you come straight to tech school so you don't want to have a bunch of extra stuff just to bring to tech school because it's just gonna make carrying everything to and from BMT that much harder. So keep it as light as possible and only pack the necessities you need for yourself. Some things might include contacts and a travel size contact solution and maybe one or two outfits. But when you first arrive at tech school, you're gonna be in phase one and you're gonna have to wear your uniform at all times. So within that time at phase one, which the time will differ depending on what tech school you're at. And if you wanna learn more about the tech school phases, I have a video on that that you can check out so you can have more of an understanding of how that works. But essentially, whenever you arrive at tech school, you're gonna receive your address that day. So you can have your family send you what you need and you can also start ordering things online. And by the time you're out of phase one, you can already receive the things that you need to have. Comes to what do you need to pack? literally just the very minimal things that you absolutely have to have. So my suggestion would be maybe skincare, some PJs, because even though you have to be in your uniforms at all times outside of your room, you can still sleep in your own PJs if that is something that makes you more comfortable. I would recommend doing that and maybe one or two outfits that way you have them right away whenever you phase up. So one of the tips I have is before you go to BMT, go ahead and pack a box of things that you want your family members to send you whenever you arrive at tech school. So whenever you get there and you get your address, they can go ahead and send it out and you don't have to worry about your family members going around and searching for the things you need because you already have it packed together and all they have to do is take it to the post office and send it out. New towels as soon as possible because it really is a game changer and it doesn't make you feel disgusting after using your BMT towel. Some questions to ask yourself when preparing for what to pack to tech school is going to be what location are you at? What is the amount of time you're going to be there? And what time of year is it going to be when you are there? Now you can go to airmanvision.com and find this information on your tech school length and location so you can have an idea of what it's gonna be like when you're there. Because something to keep in mind is you don't have a lot of space when you're at tech school. So you don't want your family members sending you your entire closet because you are not gonna have room for it. So you just need the essential items that is going to be relevant to the time of year that you're there. This next topic is a very high demand topic. People wanna know, can I have my electronics at tech school. Well, something that is really cool about tech school is it's a lot like college. You are in a dorm, you have a roommate. Of course, there are gonna be some rules and restrictions like you can't have alcohol or other banned substances, but all of that is pretty much common sense. But other than that, you can pretty much have whatever you want, laptop, and people have gaming systems. They can have TVs as well. So yes, you are allowed to have electronics at tech school. Now, something to keep in mind with having electronics at tech school is that you are in a shared space. So a lot of people have to keep their gaming stuff inside their lockers 
or if your roommate agrees to it, you can keep it on the desk possibly. That is just one thing to consider whenever having those bigger items is talking to your roommate about it, seeing what the space is going to be like, what they agree to, because of course you wanna keep things as cordial as possible whenever you have a roommate. Be considerate of their needs as well as your needs. So a lot of people set up their gaming systems inside of their wall lockers. So that's something that you can consider once you get to tech school and you see what your setup is going to be. You've established that you are allowed to have electronics. How soon are you allowed to have them whenever you arrive? Well, first you are going to have your phone when you're at BMT, they're gonna have it locked away. But whenever you go to leave, they're gonna give it back to you. So you are literally gonna have your phone right away before you even arrive at tech school. So make sure you have your charger for your phone. You're also allowed to have smartwatches and bring your charger for that as well. Laptops is a different story. Some people take small laptops like this to BMT with them. Would I recommend taking a laptop to BMT? No, personally, I would not, but there are some people that do it. If you have a bigger gaming laptop, absolutely do not bring that at all. And another thing to keep in mind is do not have your family members bring any electronics or anything at all to BMT graduation to give to you to take to tech school. But at BMT, they will not allow you to take anything from your family members. You can only have the stuff that you have at BMT. So save yourself the trouble, save them the trouble of bringing extra things with them that they don't need to, and just go ahead and have them ship that stuff to you whenever you arrive. So basically you can have all of your electronic stuff right away as soon as it's shipped to you or as soon as you buy it whenever you arrive. But during phase one, you can't have room personalization. So you can't have anything out on the desk on display, but you can have it locked away in your wall lock. So I just realized one of the main things that I didn't mention about having it tech school is a car. I wanna throw that out there. I'm sorry, that's at the end. Now this is something that can depend on the tech school that you're at. But if you have tech school for like a month then there's kind of no point in having your car there, but it is up to the individual person, but you are allowed to have your car at tech school. Hopefully this video helped you all understand what getting things at tech school is like. Pretty easy, right? Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in another video.